Living with sickle cell has been challenging for me. For example, I would be doing something and then I would feel like lightheaded. I would feel like dizzy and I wouldn't tell anybody. I would just like kind of weather it out. And then like a few minutes later, I'd feel strong again. And then I would never tell anybody that I, 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 I went through that period, you know? So it's like I dealt most of, with most of it on my own. My brother was always sick. I found out later on, a doctor, a doctor explained to me that our blood chemistry was the same except for one factor, the futile hemoglobin. The days when I would feel all right, and then the time when I would feel like a little chill. And my brother came to me and he said, you have insurance, why don't you go to the doctor? <laughs> That's what he said to me, and that's when I decided to go to the doctor. And I think I got to the hospital at the right time because I was in ICU for like about 10 days, uh, recovering slowly. I ended up like not going into crisis as often as he did, and he eventually died like about 27 years ago. I think that he saved my life. I find myself with a lot of bad days lately. The days when I get up and I'm very energetic, and then all of a sudden I feel that I need to rest. I just want to be strong enough to be able to play with my children and my grandchildren. To me, sickle cell is a very serious disease. And with support and education, it can be dealt with. Right now, there are a few drugs available for sickle cell disease. I'm hoping that more can come out so that we can live more comfortable. I'm lucky. Although I have sickle cell, I've been very lucky. I'm happy that I'm able to leave, get up. I like sports. I like reading. I like watching TV. I cook a lot. <laughs> I like to eat, so that's why one of the reasons why I will get up and start cooking right away. In my life, I'm very proud of my children, my grandchildren. I would like them to be successful in life good relationships and a happy life and uh, I, I, I hope I'll be there long enough to spoil my granddaughter. <laughs>